Chinese schools, it's typical, uh, especially in kindergarten, to have silkworms in the classroom. Uh, in the West, we tend to do that with caterpillars and butterflies. Um, but, uh, of course, silkworms are native to China. You can find them on any mulberry tree. And um, we've been feeding these ones uh, in my kindergarten and watching them grow. But uh, they got a little bit overwhelmed in the classroom. There's too many of them, and I wasn't able to take care of them properly. So I took them home for the weekend. I uh, gave them leaves from a nearby mulberry tree and uh, put this kind of plastic white netting in it for them to make cocoons with. Uh, a lot of them don't seem to be interested in eating anymore, so I think they're all going to change into cocoons soon. Um, this one found a very creative way to do it. It kind of just wrapped itself in a leaf, and um, I, I actually saw it doing this last night, so we're hoping to catch that on a the video. There's one down here that I'm pretty sure has uh, he's been spinning a little bit of a web. Uh, this is a Mealworm Monday video, but uh, we're not going to eat the silkworms. Uh, the mealworms are for eating, but they are edible in China. They don't eat the worms as they are like this. They wait until they pupate and turn, to, turn into a cocoon, and then they break open the cocoons and eat the pupa inside. 